Please like and subscribe our channel for trending news videos. Man who admitted to string of killings could be released. Toledo, Ohio, one of two brothers who admitted stalking, raping and killing young women during a string of eight murders in the 1980s is close to walking out of prison. Nathaniel Cook confessed to three murders in all with his older brother, the ringleader who's serving two life sentences, but he has a good chance of being freed after serving 20 years. The victim's families and prosecutors agreed to a plea deal nearly two decades ago that called for Nathaniel Cook's eventual release this year in exchange for the brothers' confessions. It's now in a judge's hands to decide whether to uphold the agreement. For the families, the confessions gave them answers they long sought, but now they're hoping there's some way to block his release. It's hard to think about it, said Mitch Balonik, whose 21-year-old sister Stacy was among the last victims killed by Anthony Cook in 1981. I can't imagine anyone else, anywhere else getting out after being involved in those types of crimes. His family didn't know who killed his sister and her boyfriend until Anthony Cook admitted to police that he had abducted the couple, raped Stacy, and beat them to death with a baseball bat. Nathaniel Cook, now 59, wasn't involved in either of those deaths, according to the brothers. His role in the murders began in 1980 when he shot their first victim and then took part in the next two killings, the pair told detectives. But for unexplained reasons Nathaniel Cook said he never killed again while his brother Anthony went on to kill five more people before he was arrested in just one of the killings in 1981 and sentenced to life in prison. Nathaniel Cook later said the two never discussed the other killings and he tried to forget what they had done. He had to know that was his brother's work when he heard about those other murders and didn't say anything or do anything, Bolonic said. He doesn't deserve to be out. It will be up to a Lucas County judge to decide whether to grant Nathaniel Cook's release. A hearing was set for Thursday to begin determining whether he should be registered as a sex offender and forced to disclose his address if he gets out. The question before the judge is whether there's any other choice. Rejecting his release would likely lead to a court fight because of the signed agreement in 2000. County Prosecutor Julia Bates said she can't go back on the deal because if my word isn't my word then nobody is ever going to trust the prosecutor in the future ever again. But I didn't say I would agree to it, support it, or recommend it. I said I wouldn't oppose it, she said.